brand new AGI style AI agent just got released that allows you to build out AI automations and AI workflows in minutes. On top of that, it doesn't require that you actually set up or even monitor the automation yourself because you just described to it exactly what you want to automate and what your ideal output is in plain English. It goes off and builds out the automation and it even continues to optimize it and monitor it over time, which is what makes this AGI style because it's actually watching the AI and you're using AI to improve your AI. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is, how to use it, and five crazy use cases you need to make sure that you set up with these today because if you're still doing these things manually, you're gonna get left behind. Now that new AGI style agent that I'm talking about is the latest upgrade that Deep Agent literally just got yesterday because now you could do things like this. Check this out. I come over here and I say, I want you to build out a workflow in multiple steps. The first step should be checking this website right here for new articles written in the last 24 hours. The second thing that you should do is summarize each of those articles from the last 24 hours. And third, you should message me on Slack with the topic, the summary, and a link to each article. Now, the reason that I want to do this is because obviously I have to stay up to date on the latest and greatest news in AI. And this is how I can do this without me having to do anything. So this goes through, it asks me a few questions like my workflow schedule, Slack details, summary length, and article limit. And by the way, you could set this up for anything that you want. If you have to monitor things for work or school, you could get it to do that. If you wanna create content, you could get it to do that. In fact, this is how I stay up to date on all the latest and greatest updates so I could keep my community up to date on these things and I know exactly what kind of content to make on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all the platforms that I currently post on. So we could see that this asks us a few questions right here. We went through and just answered these questions and then in seconds, this went through and this actually built out the automation here. And now we could see the different workflow steps right here and we could see all of the different key features. And then if we wanted to manage this, we literally just click on task management console right here. And one other thing I did want to call out because I get this question all the time. If we look at how many credits it used in order to build this, this is like, barely any credits, which means that this is AGI style and incredibly efficient. So if we come over into task management right here, we could see that this is going to be running. And if we wanted to, we could come over here and edit this. So I actually went through and edited this. I made it just for the first go around. It would look at articles that were published in the last two days, just because I'm filming this on a Sunday. No AI news came out in the last 24 hours typically doesn't over the weekend. So we could see it. This is actually automating right here, a 10 step process. It's going to do it every single hour. And if we wanted to, we could set up email alerts, but I don't actually have email alerts on. And then what we could do from here is if we wanted to, we could actually test this out by clicking on this and clicking on test task. Now I actually clicked on that and got it to run through this and we could see exactly what this did. So this went through and this ran all of these different actions here automatically. And then it sent me these messages on Slack. So we could see that there were four new articles published. I have this one right here. I have the link to the original article. I have the summary right here. And then I have this one right here. I have the summary right here. And then I have this one right here. I have the summary right here. And I have this one right here. And I have the summary here. So this just automated something that would otherwise have one, cost me a bunch of time, two, ruin my productivity. And quite frankly, this is a task that would just give me so much anxiety because I would constantly be checking websites and checking things. But now I don't have to because AI automates this for me. But that's not the only thing that we could automate here. For example, we could come over here and we could say, create a workflow broken into steps. And by the way, when you want to create these workflows, you need to begin with that. So make sure that you're doing that. That's going to first Step, receive blog draft and target keywords. Second, take the draft and fix the grammar and spelling mistakes. Third, step, take the corrected text and simplify it to eighth grade reading level. Fourth, take the simplified text and add keywords to the title, two to three in the body. So what you can see here is we're gonna be passing along to this blog drafts with a keyword. It is going to go through, it is going to proofread them, it is going to fix them, it is going to edit them, it is going to get them ready for SEO, and then we can also see right here that this is going to take the content and suggest three to five improvements by adding questions, examples, CTAs. Then it's going to go ahead and it is actually going to give us this 
final draft here. What this is going to do is this is going to run through. This is going to ask us a few questions. It always does this. And then we can see it actually creates this output and this workflow right here. And we can see what this looks like. We could see that we have an input right here, which is going to be the blog getting collected. Then we have the grammar and spelling correction. We then have the reading level simplification. We then have the SEO keyword optimization. And then we have the final optimized results. And as we could see here, this built out something that you would typically see in NADN or in Make, but without us having to do it. If you've built out AI agents before in the past, you know how big of a pain it is to think through all the things that you have to do. But this tool right here allows you to set these up in seconds. And then similar to what I showed you before, click on test workflow, and then we could add in this blog draft, we could put in that keyword, and we could see that this goes through, and this now does all of this work automatically. This in the past was literally somebody's full-time job, but now Deep Agent lets you set these things up. Not only did this go through and fix all the grammar mistakes, it also went through and SEO optimize this. And then on top of that, it went through and improved it and made it even better. And that's the craziest part about these agents that you could build with this is their AGI style. So if you created a make or an N8N automation to do something like this, you would constantly have to be going in there and improving it. But deep agent agents do it by themselves. And we can see right here that anybody could access this workflow right here by coming over here and clicking on it. And then we also have the final report. We have the download track changes and we have the visual difference comparison for the before and the after if we want it. Now, before I get into even more use cases that you could use this for that are only going to continue to blow your mind and there are things that you need to make sure that you're automating before 2026, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with Deep Agent today. If you've found it difficult in the past to be able to automate things with AI, build out AI agents, or if you feel like you're overpaying on all your AI tools, guess what? If you go to the pin comment below, you could get started with Deep Agent today for only $10 a month. And this is the easiest tool to be able to build out AI agents it's the easiest tool to be able to automate things, and it also gives you access to every single LM that exists and a ton of other AI features, like the ability to create images, to create videos, and so many other things that you didn't know you needed. Well, the next thing I wanted to show you how to automate is going to be customer support. So we could come over here and say, create a workflow in separate steps. The first step collects the customer's name, email, and question. The second step takes the question and classifies it as a technical error or a bug mention, billing for payment mentions, general for everything use, or for urgent, like things like urgent, ASAP, emergency. You could put in refund and things like that. The third step is then going to take the question and search knowledge base people. PDF. The fourth step is then going to take the search results and generate a friendly numbered response. The fifth step takes response and calculates the confidence score. Number six goes through and checks if the confidence score is below 70% or if it's urgent. And then that actually goes and does what it needs to do. So if it's not super confident, it will hold it off and a human will have to review it. If it is super confident, it will actually go through and respond to the customer inquiry. Now, again, this goes through, asks us a few questions. We answer it and then we can see that this workflow is actually built out here and now we can actually go through and we could test this out and we could set this live and look at how many different nodes are here, which is pretty incredible and we could come over here. We have the name, we have the customer email, we have the question, we have the knowledge base here and then this goes through and actually trains it on how to answer to all these different customer support queries. And then from here, this actually goes through what this output is going to look like and again, this then goes through and actually shoots the email off to this customer and logs it here inside of Google Sheets so that this can all be tracked. But again, the use cases don't stop here. For use case number three, we want to build out a workflow in multiple steps. The first step receives a company URL. The second step takes a URL and searches the web for industry, employee account, 30-day news, and funding. The third step takes a research finding and analyzes them. And as I'm sure you guys can tell here, this workflow is going to be about finding leads and actually enriching those leads. So the fourth step takes the analysis and generates a personalized email between 150 and 200 words, mentioning specific findings and requesting a 15 minute phone call. The fifth step takes the lead data and saves it to a Google sheet. As you guys can also see, you constantly wanna be creating logs here so that you can actually go through and see what this is actually doing without having to come back into Deep Agent to check on it. And then the sixth step schedules a follow-up email for day three. The seventh step schedules a follow-up email for the day, and then the final step displays the email and the research summary. So 
This then goes through, this asks us a few different questions here, like things that we have to set up. Then we could see this has been set up and see all the key features it has. We could see all of these nodes here with the import form, and we could see how complex this actually is because it's going through a logic loop depending on whether or not they replied. And then we just put the website in here. We could see that instantly this goes through and figures out all this different information about the website and the company. It gives us all the different emails. And then we could have it go through and actually send those out and send up the follow-up emails. And again, we have this all tracked right here, which is incredibly helpful. And then we could come into our email and actually see all these different emails, see them displayed out. And if we needed to make a change to any of those, it's incredibly easy. I showed you earlier, you just come into this workflow, make that change, make that adaptation, which is way easier than the old way of building out automations. Now, the next automation I want to show you here is going to be building out a workflow in multiple steps. The first step receives an invoice PDF or image upload. The second step takes a file and extracts the vendor, the invoice number, the amount, the date, the line items, tax, payment, terms. Third step takes the extract data and validates it and marks any missing fields. And then the fourth step takes the validated data and converts it into CSV format, which can then be downloaded. So basically this is an invoice extractor. So we could go through and this is going to ask us a few questions. We're going to answer those. And then this builds out all the different nodes that are needed here. And as we can see, this isn't as complex as a lot of the other ones that we had built out before in the past, but here's how it actually works. We just drag the invoice in here. This goes through, pulls out all of this different information here that was needed. And then step two, it goes through and reviews it. And this basically builds out a step-by-step -step process. Anybody could now follow to be able to track and process invoices. This might be something in the past that was incredibly hard for you to be able to track or for you to be able to train somebody on. But now you can literally get anybody that can just click a few buttons to work through this automation here. Now that final automation that I want to show you in order to inspire you is going to be building out a workflow where each task is its own separate step. Start with uploading or receiving a PDF, an Excel, an email, a text URL. The next step is it extracts all numbers, dates, metrics from the files. It goes through and it organizes them. Then this is going to create a report based off of this. So basically you could also have this automate reporting. As we can see right here, this is probably the most complex one that we have built out because there are so many different things that go into this. Different calculations, data extraction, data organization, and then going through and actually assembling the report. And we can see from here exactly how this actually works. It extracts all of this, gives us an executive summary, performance highlights, different findings, different performance trends. And in the past, this would have been something that would have taken an analyst days, if not weeks to do, but now it happens in minutes with AI. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.